Hello. I have an interesting test that I'm going to do today. So I've worked in coffee for like 30 years, 20 something years, 13 years, Sweet Maria's, and I've never cupped green coffee before. And what I mean is green, like this. In fact, what I've done is on the probat, we have pulled samples of coffee all along the roast spectrum, different degrees of roast or under roast, up through our finished roast here. And the coffee is a Panama Finca Camiseta. It's a nice, um, you know, standard central hard bean coffee. And I'm going to cup all these, if uh, God willing. One of the things that's come up lately is that um, a lot of people are talking about under-roasting in coffee. Um, you have two camps. You have uh, um, people very critical of how heavily roasted coffee is, and um, people in the um, online Twittering stuff about how I don't want to taste roast in coffee. And so I sent out some uh, Twitter that was like, well, you have to taste roasted coffee because coffee is roasted. Um, green coffee, as a raw ingredient, does have you know, higher percentages of certain types of acids and sugars that are transformed in the roast and to some degree lost. However, at the same time, roasting is a really complex chemical reaction. There's um, intermediate compounds that are formed and then are basically roasted off. So what you start with green, what you have in these intermediate phases of roasting and what you end up with in your final degree of roast are, are very different. Um, you can say, I don't want to taste over roast. I don't want to taste a roast flavor dominating the coffee, but um, especially because of the bitterness of compounds like trigonelline that um, are diminished in roasting, you need to roast coffee. So anyway, because, because there's a lot higher percentage of acids in green coffee and other, other uh, compounds that are intermediate, I thought it would be really fun to just taste the uh, coffee here. So that's what I'm going to try to do. And we'll see how they grind. I'm not really sure. And how I can flush the grinder. And let's see what we get. Okay, the water is ready now. Uh, what's really interesting in grinding these, so this is green coffee. In grinding these, the, um, the smells, not even so much from the absolute green coffee, but from the intermediate phases. Oh, look at that beautiful head on there. These intermediate phases, the yellow and the light brown, were unbelievable. I already think I've learned a lot because of the particular type of bitterness, um, this grain underdeveloped bitterness that I've tasted before in some commercial coffees. I think uh, this is just incredible. This one right here that I'm smelling as I pour this, unbelievable. So I think as a training tool this is really cool, but man, oh, this one is so bitter smelling right now. The, uh, the Malcone egg, the poor uh, grinder there. Jeez, suffered through these uh, samples. I flushed it out with each sample, but it was really pretty intense. I've never seen coffee, you know, it was, there, there's 12 grams in a cup, and, and I, I'm not sure, like I said, I haven't seen coffee not form a, a crust like this, the head on the cup, so I'm wondering if it's really going to um, brew with the same parameters that we expect for roasted coffee. So, I don't know, we'll see, let's see. I've gotta get my second kettle, we're running out for our last cup. Uh, let's get a little more water. Okay, so we're gonna taste coffee, Panama Finca La Camiseta, all the way along the chain. 
uh, from uh, degrees of roast from uh, our moderate light degree of roast, which was our finished one, City Plus, City Roast, uh, something pre-first crack right here, just right at first crack, and then our green ones, which will be really fun. So, that's nice, classic, central, good, uh, has some good development of body, kind of chocolate, sweet, good acidity. Even here, it's tasting a little bit underdeveloped, a little light, a little more like citrus kind of notes, but a little thin, slight graininess. So that roast is kind of city, city minus. This is definitely looking a little underdeveloped. Hmm. Oddly, it's actually a little bit better than this one, I think, but very grainy. We got grain flavors going on. You know, right here, it's like right at first crack, uh, this one, so it wouldn't really be acceptable. I can already see the color is, is really thinning out, so really light. Mm. Graininess with that kind of grain bitterness starting to come up, sort of, not uh, oat, but like wheat chaff flavor. Okay, this one is, is, is really just before first crack. You can tell it hasn't expanded at all, the coffee. And it's really looking light now. I mean, it's a real tan light color. Mm. Yeah. Actually, kind of doughy, bready um, mouthfeel. Definitely, uh, um, it kind of, there's commercial coffee that tastes like that. I think because it's Quakery, because there's defects. Okay, this is where it gets interesting. This is nowhere near first crack. Maybe uh, first crack in this roast is 400, 405 degrees. This is going to be 320 degrees on that scale. Extremely yellow. Um, mm. Wow, that's really, that's really tasting like, it, it's like wheat wheat paste, but almost like a little dirt of definitely kind of tightening, tightening flavor. Okay, this is just like a orange brown. Uh, mm, that's, uh, that's definitely tasting like wheat bread dough, um, just like uncooked bread dough. But, um, and the bitterness is, is really definitely definitely that grain tightening bittering flavor. No, nothing we think of as coffee in that beverage. That's just not a coffee drink. That's um, it's just a continuation, dry, bready. I mean, it kind of has some green tea qualities if you look at it that way, but there's just, and then this is really strange how green coffee has this color, whereas, you know, you actually get some yellowing and browning, but the green coffee is darker. Um, and also, oh my, there's an interesting layer in the cup down there. Between the green, it looks like maybe just the chaff is settled, the silver skin. That tastes like uh, Play-Doh or a crayon or something. That's a uh, that's really not not a coffee flavor at all. So uh, that was pretty interesting um, to look at these from that perspective. The color difference alone is, is great, but I think this is really interesting. The smell, the smells from these lighter ones here, uh, grinding the the the, the coffee, whatever it is, the raw coffee, really strong bittering smells, really interesting, so um, kind of a fun, not as stupid of a, just a haphazard a lesson as I thought, I actually got something out of this in terms of identifying, you know, especially trigonelline, which is the compound that as you roast is actually diminished in darker roasts, and trigonelline is an extremely bitter compound, so um, but I'm going to go back and taste these some more. This was really fun.